Hi, my name is Ryan McNally and this is my 30 second coaching log on the UCLan Coaching Experience module. Uh, today I'm going to talk about kind of what influences my coaching. So looking at, you know, different factors, intrinsic, extrinsic factors, uh, kind of different people um, and kind of stuff about myself as well that influence how I coach. So to start off with, uh, I've looked at some other coaches and or mentors. So... For example, a boss of mine, who's actually quite cl I'm quite close with, um, through previous football and experiences. He's really really crucial to my development and my influence because you know I obviously. Kind of value his feedback really, really highly, and what he says to me I I believe is is relevant and 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 I should be acting on that feedback. Another example is. James, who I coach with, he's a real influence on how I coach because we work in tandem a lot. So we're obviously discussing different, you know, sessions, theories together and we go back and forth and, and we both influence each other in a really positive manner. Uh, research I've found by uh, Leader et al. in 2019 states that coach mentors have a critical role in development of sports coaches. That couldn't, couldn't be truer. Or so more true because, for example, Matt, our head of coaching, who I work quite closely with sometimes, has a has a real valuable input on how I deliver. You know, I look at his techniques. I, uh, I try them myself. I take stuff from his sessions. How he may talk to different people, and, and that influences how I coach, and I feel like that's really crucial. Um, another influence on my coaching is my beliefs. So I believe that kind of how what I believe in will influence what I coach. So my beliefs are hard work, kind of professionalism, setting your standards. You know, you turn up, you're wearing the right kit, you're you're there on time, you're there early, everything's set up, and you know you keep to your high standards that you set. And I feel like they're really, really important values to have in coaching that influence how I how I deliver my sessions. And I feel like that's been really, really valuable for me. Uh, finally, the last influence that I'm looking at that, affect, that impacts my coaching is the time constraints that I have on me and players on their ages. So obviously I work with the under sixes and under 11s, so kind of how the age and ability changes in that five year gap influences my coaching style so with the under sixes it's a lot more playful and you know you're making like different like um, like referencing it in a different way so if I'm talking about a low body position when defending I might call it a surfing a surfer on a surfboard to the under sixes whereas with the under 11s I can be a bit more technical and get into the, the nitty gritty of some of some technical detail. Um and also the time constraints that I have when I'm when I'm coaching. We only get the hour. So getting my point across quickly so that the ball is rolling a lot of the time and that and you know they're getting as much exposure as they can with the detail that I can feed in as well is really crucial and trying to find that balance of technical detail to, to trial and error or exposure to the environment is a real element that we've worked really hard to get right this year and I feel like it's been really really successful so they're kind of the influences on my coaching so I've looked at you know other coaches and mentors my beliefs and the time constraints and the players and their ages that I have um, obviously there is loads more that could be covered but I feel like they're the three key things and they're the three key three three things that I consider when I'm about to set a plan or deliver a session